Hello guys, and welcome back to DAC Unpacking. Today I bought a booster box that I just never got to open and kind of glossed over. I hadn't quite gotten back into Magic completely whenever this set came out the second time, but during the first time it was the set that was exiting as Cons of Tark Hero uh, came in, so of course I wanted to get back around to it. The value in this has mostly been banned, but it's okay because we're not opening it for value, we're opening it for fun. Um, the last video that I have uploaded right now is Time Shifted Remastered 1. I wanted to put a video in between to, um, you hear my cats in the background, but I wanted to put a video in between Time Shifted 1 and Time Shifted 2 so that we could, uh, have a little bit of variety. So, with that being said, I'm going to open this up and we are going to get this opened. Alright, so here we go. Let's crack into it. Another reason why I did this booster box was because of the lands in it. So it was kind of a double whammy. I got my lands that I liked, and I got to see a set that really didn't get to open much of. So, which lands are we looking for? Any of them. They're all very pretty. I'll kind of go through the commons quickly, and we can get to the uncommons. I actually have Minotaur Tribal and Commander, um, so I'm going to. Kind of be looking to see if there's any extra minotaurs that I can get that are better. Here's the commons. One, two, three. And at the end is a Gravebreaker Lamia, which is a great... Oh, these lands. Yes. Those I love lands. those. Go ahead, yes. Gravebreaker Lamia is a great commander card. And that's what matters, so... Kind of like I said, kind of an old set, but. Rare. A mountain. So, this has Uro. If I pull an Uro, I'd be happy. I would play it in Commander. If I don't have play or if I don't pull Uro or Kroxa, um, I don't know what else is crazy valuable. I know that there is like full arts and stuff in here, like just like the regular full art cards. So, <laughs> we'll see. This just sends me back. Theros was one of the first blocks I opened, being able to see the gods again, being able to um, just kind of enjoy this set again. I was really hoping they would bring it back, and at the end, the forest. Temple of Deceit, always a good card and commander, always good to be able to um, try in the beginning. So, the lands are fine. I'm probably going to be doing a Ravnica Allegiance booster, too. Something to look forward to. Yes. And then Strixhaven's coming out as I record this. It's like a week or two from now. So I'll be doing some Strixhaven content whenever that comes out. It's a very good um, set I'm looking forward to. I'm really excited to get my hands on some of the really cheesy Commander products that are in it. Idyllic Tutor is just a very strong card. Idyllic Tutor looks for an enchantment, and anything that plays enchantments, that's just really good in. So, that's a pretty good hit, honestly. Okay. Yeah. And I think we've hit all of every land except for Island, so... Mm -hmm. That's also cool. Alright, I'm trying to keep these in order. You know how it goes. I'll try, and then I'll just completely and totally flop. So it's fine. <laughs> Return to nature. There's some really good enchantments that came out of this, too. One, two, three. Thos's Intervention in another plane. Thos's Intervention uh, is, as you can see, not a terrible card. <laughs> so. This is a pretty okay blue card in Commander. And that's what I'm really pulling this set for, is Commander. No crazy cards yet. Um, I don't know if those are only um, in uh, Rare. Oh, not Rare. Yeah, Rare still a Rare slot, because you can see it's a newer set. No, I mean, there's no uncommon, so I, there I, I go. Oh, full art? Is that what that is? It's not a full art. It's just a special it's just constellation cool. art, is what they call it's them. It's just cool. 
Daxos Blessed by the Sun in foil and in Ooh. Constellation. That's a cool card. A good white card. Hey, let me know, Ben. I, this is a very pretty set. Like I said, you really can't be too mad. You really can't complain too much about it all. No. You weren't around, of course, for any of this, but this is like a, a throwback to my beginning days with... I'm going to straighten my pile up. My beginning days with Magic. I still, whenever I see Theros, pack, loose Theros pack, sometimes I'll grab one just for the nostalgia. <laughs> I mean, Perforos was always a really cool card. Now I think the one that's pretty decent in this set is Thassa. So we'll see if we can get a hold of a Thassa. Shadow of the Skies and then Planes. Okay. Looks like Shadow of the Skies is a board white. Oh, it is? I think so. Control the creature. Hmm. Interesting. Heliod's also a good good pull from these. Yeah, that looks cool. Yeah. And it's just a take on all the gods. Again. <laughs> Essentially they were these was originally uh, divided into three sets. Um Rare. Dream Trawler. It's a cool card. Swamp. So this was originally divided into three sets. It was Theros, Born of Gods, and Short Journey to Nyx. Um, we saw Xenagos come out of a few, or out of one of these. We saw the original five, Nylia, Erebos, Heliod, Thassa, and Perforos come out of the first set. And then we saw um, some other ones that we didn't get to see when we went back come out in for, uh, sets after. Journey to Nyx was uh, one of the better ones, I think. Great Merchant of Asperdos is always good. And at the end is a dry out of the Illusion Grove. Now that is what we're searching for right there. That card is one of the, the more expensive ones. He's not like obscene. I'll put the price at the bottom. But he's a really highly played commander card. He's played in almost every green deck. So hmm. having that isn't a bad hit. It's the new, for all those who play commander, it's the new um, Oracles of Moldiah. It's, I'd say it's not as a, as a replacement, but as a addition in decks like those. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Ooh, got a little There's the Annex. So we've gotten three out of the five of the Uncommons. Ashox or Asher. And then a Relentless Pursuit and Foil. There's our first island. Uh -huh. So we've gotten them all. That's good. Like I said, I'm super stoked about the lands. Um, a few of my decks are going to be strictly those lands. Uh, whenever I watch Commander versus um, Buster City Games, I always get a little jealous because they have all the Theros lands, and I was like, well, I don't. I mean, I don't still have any. I've opened some loose packs, mm -hmm. but I haven't like you know. I've never gotten to actually get a hold of a bunch of them, so. They're just really cool. You're like, Dak, why don't you just go and buy them? Well, that's no fun. <laughs> Ooh, there's my rare foil, a bronze hide lion. That's fleece mane lion. It's got to be like a knock off version of fleece mane lion. And cool. then I got a perforosis intervention, so. Cool, cool. Had a friend back in the day who claimed you played Cat Tribal because he played Brimaz and Fleece Man Lions. Which is hilarious because Cat Tribal wasn't even like really a thing. There's just a few cat cards that he played with Collected Company. When Collected Company first came out, and Brimaz and, and uh, Fleece Man were both in it. So I think it's hilarious still. He played Budget, <laughs> or he, he called it Budget Kitty Cat Tribal or something. <laughs> but it was, and it had the, all the green staples at the time. Ooh. Calyx, Destiny's Hand. And a foil of Banishing Light. Foil. That's right. Calyx. One of the new guys we didn't, you've never seen before until now, so that's cool. That is cool. Very pretty. Mm-hmm. The, it's obviously taken from like Greek and Roman mythology. It's got minotaurs, a lot of minotaurs, a lot of hydras came out of the first set. So it's a nod towards the, uh, whoops, I skipped the rare. And then my foil and then a forest. Foil. Is 
extra one. There we go. Even though the um, the uncommon commander or the uncommon legendaries aren't like super crazy, I'm probably gonna build a commander around one. There's the blue one. Ooh. So is there one in every color? Yeah, there's one in every color. Rare. We have red, green, and blue. So far. And white. The white was spoil. Mm -hmm. So we've gotten them all. Except and black. Except for black, which is, um, goodness gracious. I forget what his name is now. It's not Tim, uh, maybe Timoret. <laughs> I think it's Timoret. We'll see maybe in this pack. Nessian Wanderer, Heliod's Punishment, and a Wave Breaker Hippocamp. Whenever you cast your first spell during each opponent's turn, draw a card. Pretty artwork. Amazing artwork, honestly. And we get the enchantment vibes again. Wow. <laughs> I'm going two, three. Another bronze hide line. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see what else we can get. We have about half the box down. And like I said, this this isn't just a crazy valuable you just hit crazy pulls it's weird after you open time shifted remastered <laughs> i opened a box to jumpstart with some friends yesterday just on my own um so it's like when you have crazy packs like that and then you just get to a set that's just like it's a cool set but it's not just chock full of there's timoret ah. and at the end is a tectonal giant with a forest go ahead mm -hmm. And some of these are actually reprints from the original. They just got new artwork, oh. which I really like, too. The art in this set is very beautiful. It is. It is a very well-drawn set. Two, three. Tim Rutt's Call of the Dead in an island. One mythic so far. And we got our foil rare. Mm-hmm. You've seen these, so I'm going to skip through them fast and get to the uncommons. Elspeth's Nightmare, I forgot she's in here. And at the end, Archon of Sun's Grace, which is a really cool card for, um, I played it in Limited when I, on, uh, on uh, Arena, giving you 2-2 two -two unicorns whenever you play an enchantment. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Is there like a unicorn theme deck? Yes. Oh. But it's, that's Pegasus, I believe. I may have said Unicorn, but I meant Pegasus. Oh, okay. Still very cool. Yeah. It's not a tribal, right. not necessarily, but it is a... Uh, it is a, just a really cool theme. Treacherous Blessing as well. All right. It's crazy how the back card has, like, been lining up. I don't think that's meant to happen, but, like, <laughs> the black land came out of a little black rare. Skip through the uncommons. You guys don't want to see them. When you see the same card of punch, you're here for the rares. <laughs> One, two, and at the end, a Wall Strider, which is also a really cool card. Looks well, kind of creepy. Yeah, it is pretty creepy. It's a horror, so it, it needs to be creepy. Oh, that would make sense. Another good sack outlet uh, synergistic card. Iliad's intervention. Okay. So we've gotten so we've gotten three interventions. We haven't seen Nylia's or Arabos's, but we've seen um, the other three. So 
I haven't seen any of the gods. I'd like to have a god come up soon. That'd be cool. Uh, obviously, Thassa is the most expensive. There's Nylia's intervention as I say that. Um, so I'd like to see Thassa. Erebos is pretty cool. Perforos is okay. I mean, just strictly okay, in my opinion. He gives stuff haste. Uh, the new Nylia, I forget what she does, and then the new Heliod, of course, is also very good. So, either the white or the, the blue god would be okay with me. I'm just here for the ride. Anything's okay with me. <laughs> cool. Oh. Foil. Island. I feel like we've seen a lot less islands. Well, if... I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I think, yeah, I think it's just. I mean, we're gonna get thirty-two of these, so which is cool because you can kind of spread the love and decks. If you don't like me doing this, let me know in the comments so that I can stop. <laughs> I just, whenever I watch these, I don't really care about the uncommon citizen champion. I just want to get to the rares. So. I'm just not as, as coordinated, so that's why I'm not doing it. Still trying to go through them a little fast. Via Crow in War, a Crow in. Oh, there's another, there's a foil Grave Breaker Lamia, so that's two foil rares. That's yeah. pretty cool. Grave Breaker, again, Grave break, Breaker Lamia is a good card. I think. I play Carador, so it kind of lets me, it lets you, I think pretty sure as you cast cards out of your uh, graveyard, so. There it is. Cool. Uh -huh. Drag to the Underworld. That sounds terrible. <laughs> Next, Bloom Ancient. Ooh. I'm down with that. That's our second Mythic. And that is another really good green card to get out of here. So, next Bloom Ancient. It goes, I think it goes anything green because it lets you tap triple your mana. Oh. Yep, that's where this, this came from. That's like a, I think it's like a $20 card maybe. It was, I pulled a promo, I bought a promo pack of, of Theros and got one. So, I was pretty happy with that. And at the end... Erebos is, so we got all the interventions of everybody now. I'm pretty we sure we're getting close to the end. Mm -hmm. I think we have maybe nine packs left. So, we'll just keep cruising through them. And we have Renetna, Hydra's Growth, First Aronian Games, and a Island. Um, my wife has to go do a school thing, so I will be continuing on finishing this up by myself, and we'll see what I can get a hold of or get my hands on. So, skip through the comments, because what, you know, what do you, what, what's, what's good at common in this set? I don't think there is really anything. So, eat to extinction and a foil. Ah. A foil. I'm skipping over the Eat to Extinction, but who cares when you get to look at a foil? Crystalline, or not crystal, but Constellation uh, Forest. That. That is a card, ladies and gentlemen. I have six packs left. Um, hopefully we get one more Mythic. That's kind of what I'm shooting for, one more Mythic. Uh, hopefully it's a god of some sort. Um, and we'll see. So one, two, a full art Ashiok. Well, there is the mythic, and it is Ashiok in her full art form, which is very, very beautiful. So you cannot go wrong with this card. I've had it used on me quite a few times in Commander games, and it does its job. It lets you um, create two threes, which is really nice, and it's her uptick ability. And she starts at five loyalty, and you have to get her to seven. I'll show her off again at the end of the video. But right now, I just want to get through all of the uh, packs first. Gallia, 
Scalia, I think, is a pretty decent little card. You can, um, because of her bottom ability, being able to get deep in cards is really great. We pulled two crazy green cards out of this. No Uros, Proxes, no Gods. But we have got mm, some of the... Uh, the good green commander playable stuff, so you can't complain. There's another full art annex. And Elspeth Conquers Death is our rare with Rise to Glory in foil. So we have three packs left. We'll see if there's any three pack magic. Um, and we'll, we'll just go from there. These boxes aren't very expensive. There is, again, there is some cool stuff you can pull out of them, I think. I think $100 is a good price, and you get the, the gorgeous um, Underworld Rage Hound. You get the gorgeous uh, lands with them, so it's not a bad set. Kind of old news, the only reason I would say buy one is if you're going to go play uh, Commander and looking to just open a, a really cool set, or if you draft with your friends. I've done that a few times where I bought a box and the draft it or done other, you know, whatever with them. My favorite set is cons, and I tried opening a cons box and got absolutely gypped. I mean, I guess not absolutely. I pulled a single fetch out of it, but the rest of the pack, ooh, the rest of the, the, the booster box was garbage. Um, Rasta and then Ren Renetta called to the hunt in foil. So if this is how it ends, we have our last pack. Uh, before I open it, just want to say uh, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me. Please remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell for all, you know, to get notified on all my videos. And without further ado, I'm going to jump into it. Um, again, it's been a good opening. Again, Theros Beyond Death. Well, like Theros, the Theros block itself will always hold a very special place in my heart. I'm really excited uh, for the D&D set also coming up soon. That will be a really fun set. I'm curious to see how they're going to do it. So, Staggering Insight. Caliph, Caliph Beloved by the Sea. Thundering Chariot, Nat Rare. Thassa's Oracle, what a card to end off with. Another card rising in price, and you really, I can't complain much about some of the hits. I mean, three Mythics, all pretty good. Nyx Blue Mansion's a great card. And then some of the, just the gorgeous basics. I mean, I got a stack of those now, so... With that being said, I am Dak, and this has been Dak Unpacking, and we will see you guys next time. One.